Well, let's welcome on board another management on the show. We have with us Mr. Rajiv Ratan, the chairman. Ratan India Group joining us. Uh, remember, the company has actually uh, forayed into D2C fashion brands through their own app now, New Brand. Let's try and understand what's the rationale of it and what's the prospect they see for this business going forward. Mr. Ratan, hi. Uh, talk to us about just that because I understand you already had a bit of presence when it comes to uh, you know retailing of the fashion brands through third-party apps, etc. As well, uh, what's the rationale of bringing in your own app? What kind of growth trajectory do you anticipate? Good afternoon. Uh, uh, see, uh, we are already a big seller in e-commerce. We uh, have a run rate of about 5,000 crores of revenues from uh, selling online. Fashion as a category is uh, very exciting uh, because uh, the total fashion size uh, in the country is about 5 lakh crores, out of which about 80,000 crores is online. And uh, it is uh, growing. Uh, it, uh, to be able to meet the demand of uh, our young Indians, one needs to be trendy, one needs to have a blend of uh, technology into it. We have uh, all those strengths and using our uh, experience as a, a seller who is uh, selling about 5,000 crores of uh, goods on online, we are going to uh, uh, bring these uh, brands. This is a natural progression for us. And uh, we are starting out with private labels uh, and new brands will be our company, which will be uh, into uh, these uh, starting categories of uh, denim, athleisure and uh, everyday fashion, uh, casual wear. So uh, uh, it is, we are hugely excited about this. So, uh, sir, you already have a brand uh, called Coco Blue. So how new brands will be different uh, compared to the existing brand? Coco Blue is not a brand, it is a, a seller on online. So uh, Coco Blue does not have any of its own brands. Neo Brands is the company which will be owning brands and which will be uh, responsible for everything from manufacture to sales. And uh, obviously uh, we are starting out uh, online, uh, but uh, uh, going forward, uh, we may look at uh, selling Neo Brands uh, uh, products offline as well. But just I uh, wanted to get a sense from you. This is a highly competitive market. There are a lot of apps already available. What's the USP? And would that mean uh, you'll have to spend a lot with respect to customer acquisition costs, marketing, etc. And that might eat into the margins? See, are, this is not an app. We okay. are going to be selling uh, on uh, Amazon to start with. Uh, then we will add uh, other uh, uh, platforms. will uh, be present across uh, the key uh, online marketplaces. And uh, uh, that is how we are uh, modeling it. Uh, we, uh, you can imagine that uh, since we are a prominent, uh, 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 we have a prominent share of revenues from online sales. So we understand this market very, very well. We are uh, selling uh, apparels already uh, online. So we, uh, we understand the space and uh, in one year time, uh, we have grown from uh, zero to 5,000 crores. So that, that uh, should give everybody the confidence that we know uh, everything about the space. And uh, we are very, very confident of uh, success of our brands. Uh, so if you could just take us through what is the kind of investment that you have set aside to develop this new brand, uh, be it marketing, be it uh, capex uh, capital uh, expenditure requirements. So what is the kind of investment that you have planned for this? See, the, this will be an uh, this will be a key ongoing business for us. So uh, you know whatever it takes to uh, build a portfolio of brands, we will uh, uh, we will be deploying the resources for that, and uh, we are uh, starting out with an outlay of hundred crores of business. Okay, point taken. And uh, okay, that's the word coming in that the growth prospects are rather strong. So zero to 5,000 crore worth of revenue profile we've already seen in a year. But what should we expect over the next one to two years then? See, our uh, on, uh, online sales are growing uh, at about 25 uh, to 30%. And that's uh, only because of uh, e-retail growth in the country. And uh, uh, our own brands, we are uh, launching in the, in the coming weeks and uh, we will be informing the markets uh, about them. Uh, it's uh, difficult to put in numbers for uh, growth for our own brands, but uh, uh, with the overall uh, shift, especially during uh, COVID, which happened to online, that is here to stay. We have a young population. 
uh, which is uh, uh, which has moved a lot of things online. Uh, also, uh, fashion as a category is changing. Uh, it needs to be fast moving. It needs to be tricky. And uh, being online, uh, uh, combining technology into it, uh, that has been our strength. And uh, we we hope to uh, uh, be uh, uh, cracking uh, uh, significant numbers in the times to come. Okay, Mr. Radhan, we let you go on that note. Thank you so much for joining us today. So optimistic commentary as far as the growth is concerned and all the best for the new brands business that you are looking at.